These speed humps installed every couple hundred feet around Dorchester Stanley Bellevue Park are designed to slow drivers down. We wanted to know if it's working as the city's speed hump installation pushes forward across other Boston neighborhoods with a goal of installing 500 of them each year through 2026. People will like zip and throw here like it was a freeway. The solution to the speeding that Mike Pratt and other neighbors have been complaining about for years can now be found on the pavement in clusters of three inch tall, 12 foot long asphalt humps. I'm not 100% sure they're as effective as they thought they might be, especially on some of the larger vehicles. Pratt says from what he's seen so far, many cars continue to barrel over the speed humps far faster than they should. Other neighbors like Kiana Newberry say those driving the recommended 20 miles per hour or slower are adding to the congestion. I think they're good to have, but at the same time, like you still need to get where you need to go and not in a ticket hour where it should take 30 minutes. Newberry, who has a one-year-old son, says she was initially in support of the speed humps, but had no idea just how many were going to be installed. And it's on every street, every street. So it's, it's really annoying. The city has installed hundreds of speed humps across Dorchester, Mattapan, Roxbury, Jamaica Plain, Roslindale, and South Boston, and more are coming to other neighborhoods. Despite some criticism from irritated drivers, there's also applause for the city's efforts to promote traffic safety in the midst of the installation of over 2,000 speed humps. I think it works. I think the speed bump is helpful. The city says a budget surplus and state funding allowed them to set aside $13 million for this project. Speed hump zones have been created within every city council district to make sure they're spread out fairly. In Dorchester, Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News.